Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. Today I am going to show you guys how to create a simple progress bar um, at the bottom as you see in some videos and whatnot. This is going to be super easy to do. I'm using Final Cut Pro, but technically you can do this in most other programs. But the shortcuts I will be showing you will be Final Cut Pro specific, okay? So, first of all, what I have here, I have a clip. I stressed it out far enough, so it's 30 seconds exactly, okay? What we're going to do on this click, clip, rather, we're going to click on it, and this is the Final Cut Pro specific shortcut. We're going to hit Control V, okay? Not to be confused with Command V, which is paste. No, we are doing Control V, okay? And we have our reasons. I'll get to that in a bit. Now what we want to do is go to generators, okay? If it's like this for you, just click on it, drop down. This is going to be a default generator that comes with it, okay? Um, you can pick the colors from here, but I recommend custom because it will let you pick whatever color you want. Just put it on top, slide it all the way across as much as you need. I know it's covering the home screen right now. That's okay. That's fine. We'll deal with that in a moment. I would recommend picking a vibrant color. I like orange. Personally, orange or red for this. Let's go with orange. It's, it's, it's more vibrant. Plus, low-key orange is my favorite color. So, yeah. And then we would simply go to the tools here. What we want to do is crop, okay? We want to crop it from the top. However long you... However tall you want it to be. This will be fine for us. Now, if you're really specific about it and you don't want it to, per se, cut off the bottom of the video, what you can do is you can actually click on the video and, you know, crop up a little bit if you want. That, that won't hurt a little bit. I mean, you know, move up rather. Position it up a little bit. No harm, no foul. And now we're going to the hardest part, which isn't very hard. First of all, let's click on this. Hit Control V again to show that because we're showing these for a specific reason. Okay. While we have this here, what we want to do is we want to create a simple keyframe, okay? So just click this here. It will add the keyframe, okay? That's all you will need to do with creating the keyframe. The other one will be created for you automatically. This will let you move the keyframe as you need it. We actually need it on the very very last frame so you know it actually being there it's perfectly fine for us okay and then we need to come over here to the very first frame okay and then furthermore position this position X right here. This is what we need to do, okay? We need to move it all the way till it just, you know, first off the screen, okay? Right off the screen there. And as you can see, if we move this, it automatically create our keyframe for us. And then as we play, what will happen is the bar will slowly fill up. Now, we did move it up a bit. That's why you'll see the black bars on the bottom. Because remember, technically, we did move it up because we wanted to be a bit cheeky. 
But in order to fix that, we simply just click on the bottom one and, you know, reach that parameter to where it was. And then bada bing, bada boom, that gets fixed just like normal. And instead of scrubbing through, let's just play it. And naturally, as you can see, the bar is going for however long. Now, this is good for like ad segments in your videos or whatever, just to see how long there is left. Some people use them for like TikToks or YouTube shorts, you know, just so you can see. And then once it ends, the video is going to, or I have it on loop, so. But yeah, it goes at the exact end point, that's at the exact start point. And, you know, if you want it to be thicker, you can always just you know, make it thicker, make it as thick as you want, or as thin as you want. It's perfectly fine there. Change the color as you want, and yeah, hopefully this has helped you in some way, shape, or form. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.